this is a new garden design. Uh, we have a big deck and there are borders around the edge, about 80 centimeters to a meter at times. Um, I am hoping to have a tree here. I'd love a silver birch, it's probably too big, but there we are. Um, another tree here. I'm kind of very conscious that this used to be lawn, uh, which was a monoculture, but I feel really bad that we have the patio down there. So I want to make it a bit of a wildlife haven. Um, I'm gonna put some log piles somewhere. My wife would like a tree fern, maybe in a pot, maybe down here. Um, I'm gonna try and put like a sort of a micro bucket pond somewhere and maybe a water feature, kind of raised pond in a pot type thing. Could be on the patio, could be over there. Um, you know, other than that, um, really I'm happy with just good advice. Clearly some climbers, but this used to be sort of, you know, totally dense, so it'd be nice to have something a bit more delicate, like, you know, clematis rather than, um, I think we used to have honeysuckle. We still have a bunch of, there's a jasmine there and there's a, um, a thing, I forgot what it's called. It's, um, what is it? I've forgotten it. I could, I could tell you. Uh, there's a nice Acer. Um, so yeah, it's a small garden. Um, thinking about like planters here, potentially, to kind of take away the sort of the look of the brickwork. Um, I'd like ferns and sort of foresty type stuff. So yeah, it's really, if someone could kind of come around and help us make an attractive, relatively easy to maintain garden that's also really beneficial for wildlife and biodiversity. That's the drill, hopefully. Uh, thank you.